Hey guys, Hone Houdini Tai here, helping you escape your 9 to 5. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the things that hold you back. Now, everybody wants to be super successful. They want to be rich, and they want to just have a great life, but they seem to be held back by something. And I get to see hundreds of students every single week at my real estate class. And I get to see firsthand when they're having a little breakdown. And when people are having breakdowns, they don't realize that there's something in here that's driving them to, to take actions that are counterproductive to what it is that they're going after. I'm gonna use me as an example. I recently was told by my mentor that I need to get around even bigger players. I need to get around people who can excel my game, to step up my game to the next level because he says, though I'm doing a great thing by helping a lot of people, I am also hurting myself by being the smartest person in the room. I wanna be, I wanna be the dumbest and poorest millionaire in the room. So that means that I have to be in a room full of a whole bunch of other millionaires that are way richer than me. And I would love that. I would love that. And he's absolutely right. I need to get around other people. So I had a barrier of how do I get to that next level? And the same thing goes for the people who are just starting out. They are interested in getting to the next level, right? They want to be richer, but they don't know what it is. And here's the crazy thing. What we think it is and the names that we give it often aren't the thing. When I spent some time to dig and no, I gave excuse, 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 excuse why I'm not doing it. And then when I gave my time, myself some time to think, I realized that the thing that's holding me back, the thing that causes me to not play at another level, is three things. First, it's the amount of work that may be required to get to the level that I want. I have a belief, whether it's true or not, that the amount of work that is gonna be required to, for me to go from this level to that level will be 10 times that. So I fear that I'm gonna give up too much time to be at that next level. And time is our most precious asset. You can't get it back. If you give away all your time to a job, to your work, to your career, to your business, to whatever you may get paid but you also gave away all your time and I don't want to do that that's really scary for me I don't want to give up my lifestyle I like having all of the time in the world to do what it is that I want I've, I've created it so that my business gets to run I get to make money and I don't have to devote a lot of time to it so I like that so that was my first barrier right I was like, it's that time commitment. The second thing that I, I worry about is that playing at a bigger level could potentially mean a bigger failure. Now, the bigger failure is scary because my thoughts are, I got to the level I'm at, and that's great. And if I make a mistake at this level, I'll fall back a little bit, but I can recover from that. But if I make a bigger mistake, it'll wipe everything that I have. Everything that I've built, it'll wipe. So I'm not sure. It's kind of like going all in with poker. I can double up or I can be out of the game. So that is kind of a, a scary thing too. And then finally, it's just a fear that maybe I don't know what to do at that next level. I'm really, really comfortable where I am doing what it is that I do. Really comfortable because I'm really, really good at it. But going to the next level, there's huge discomfort because there's a huge unknown. My, my strategy in the past to overcome this fear of the unknown is just to fire first. Fire, aim, ready. Go for it. Just do it. Just do it and then figure it out later. Whatever it is, just figure it out later. Fire, aim, and then you'll be ready. You can't be ready and then aim and then fire.
because a lot of times you get stuck at ready, aim, ready, aim, ready, aim, and that's a problem. So I didn't want to do that. So fire, aim, ready, that could help me overcome this bigger hurdle of this unknown. But those two other fears that all my time to figure it out and not knowing what to do, I mean, those, those still linger. And also being able to be wiped clean just from one bad deal. So those things still have me kind of like messed up. I know I need to do this. I know I need to do this. So what I plan to do is to continue to get around a lot of other people who are doing big things and really understand how and what it is that they do. Go back to my education, rewatch all my videos so that I understand what those people are doing. And once I have that foundation, that knowledge base and the resources, both human and and muddy and everything else, once I have my, my knowledge of all of that, my confidence will be huge. And once my confidence is huge, that's what I'll be able to take the next step. It's, it's vitally important for me that I secure my knowledge because it's that lack of knowledge that causes me to kind of like be concerned. So uh, knowledge base, I plan on improving from mentors, from my education, from books, and as well as, well as uh, just, just uh, it's called paper, like, like paper trading in stocks, I'm going to paper trade whatever trade that I'm looking to do. So I started already doing it. I started writing out what my new business model would be and how I would do it and the money I would make and where it would come from and like all of the paperwork and everything, the flow. So I have a huge flow chart of my new business. By having all of the pieces mapped out, it's like, oh, now I get it. Now I know exactly how I'm gonna do this business and make money. So those are a couple, some of the things that I'm dealing with. Maybe through this video, you've been able to hear something that will help you break through whatever barrier you have because a lot of times we don't know what the barrier is. You have to take time and figure out what that barrier is. If you can figure out that barrier, you can figure out a strategy to get around it. And when you get around that barrier, that's where the new opportunities are. And I'm going through this right now. Right now I'm going through it. All my students, they get to watch me and they're like, oh, Hone, you're doing great doing what you're already doing. And they want to be here, but I want to be there. So in order to do that, I have this, this huge chasm to jump. And I just showed you what I'm going to do to make that jump. So hopefully that helped. And if you guys want to find out more, check me out at iescapedmy95.com. All right, y'all. I'll see you then. Peace.